So, I would like to explain atmospheric heating for you here. We have a number of handouts that you're going to be getting in this class, and hopefully these handouts are in your notebook. And what I say here and the uh, diagrams that I'm using will hopefully help you to interpret uh, what you have in your notebook a little bit. So, in this, we're talking about atmospheric heating, and there are three ways in which our atmosphere is heated, and they all have to do with the Earth. We can have what we call thermal radiation, conduction, convection, and evaporation and, and condensation. So let me talk a little bit about each one of these. For thermal radiation, uh, basically what you have are two different things happening here. You've got incoming radiation from the sun, uh, solar radiation, and we call that um, insulation. And I'll write that on the next slide. But it, what we have coming in from the sun is solar radiation, and what we have outgoing from the Earth uh, is terrestrial radiation. Um, the sun emits, the earth emits, and they're emitting different things. Sun is doing primarily light, earth is doing primarily infrared. Now the second thing that you have here is conduction convection. Um, conduction is the transfer of heat through contact. So this is warm earth warming the air that's in contact with the surface. Convection is the rising of warm air because it's less dense than surrounding air. So this is um, circulation in the atmosphere. This is caused from contact from the Earth's surface, a warmer Earth's surface. And then finally with evaporation and condensation, uh, what we have here is, what we're concerned with is water vapor. Uh, water vapor evaporating is going to remove energy. Condensation, when water vapor condenses back to liquid water, this releases energy. And when this happens in the atmosphere, heat is being transferred. Okay? So, if we look at this diagram, this is a diagram that you should have in your notebook. Um, it's trying to explain what we have happening in our atmosphere. And when we talk about a budget, uh, I want you to think of what's coming in has got to go out. If that's not true, then we've got a trouble, big trouble. Um, and when we talk about global warming, what that means is that what's coming in is a little bit more than what we're allowing to, to leave. And so, and there are some reasons for that. So let's talk about the incoming piece here. Again, what I said incoming is called insulation. And I like this diagram because it talks about percents. So if we look at 100% of the solar energy coming into the Earth, basically 30% of it is lost. And it's lost due to this property called reflection. It can be reflected by the atmosphere, reflected by cloud tops, or it can be reflected from the Earth's surface. And the next slide will talk a little bit about this piece here. But bottom line, we lose... 30% back into space. Um, about 16% here is absorbed by the atmosphere. And this is probably happening um, in the upper atmosphere with ozone. Uh, we're taking some of the higher energy um, radiation, the ultraviolet, and that's being absorbed. That causes that layer of air to warm up. And then down here at the bottom, about 51% of what's coming in is being absorbed by land. So we've got three sources of reflection up here. Let me put that back on. Three sources of reflection and you have three sources of absorption. You've got absorption by the atmosphere, by clouds, basically liquid water, and by land. Okay, that's what's coming in. 
what's going out, again, are three different sources. We talked about conduction. Um, and the reason this is a different color is because it's a different type of radiation. This is what we call infrared, whereas what we had over here, this is visible. Okay, so you have three types here. You've got conduction, um, that's the air that's in contact with the Earth's surface. You've got um, this stuff down here, which is uh, latent heat, that's the evaporation condensation piece. And this is the radiation piece. This is simply radiating infrared energy away. Okay, and so if I look at the numbers here. I've got um, 664, that's 70%, plus the 30% here, that's going to give me 100%. Isn't that exciting? I thought you'd like that. But you might want to pause this thing here and look at this diagram for a little bit and see if you um, make sense of it. Um, the reflection piece where the surface of the Earth has an impact on this. Now your albedo sheet looks a little bit different. It's just a table, and I like this because it's a little bit more visual, but the al albedo talks about the reflectivity. Whoops, wrong tool. The reflectivity of a surface, and the more reflective a surface is, the greater its albedo. And you'll notice that depending on what sunlight is shining on, it will absorb different amounts. Now that shouldn't be a, a new idea for you. Okay? The um, next here, we have something called a greenhouse. And we've done a lab on this. And, and what's happening here? If solar radiation is coming in, if it's reflected light, it just continues to go back out. But this heat that the the energy that's absorbed by the surface, it heats the surface up, that causes it to emit infrared radiation. Now, infrared doesn't just pass through our atmosphere. There are greenhouse gases. These are gases that are very good at absorbing infrared. And what they do is absorb that infrared energy. That causes their temperature rise, and then they will emit it. These little red arrows going off in different directions are these particles re-emitting that energy. And so what tends to happen here is the energy that's released by the Earth's surface takes a while to leave, to go back out into space. And, and essentially what it's doing is warming up the lower level of our atmosphere. Uh, it's nothing being trapped here. It's infrared that's being absorbed and then re-emitted. Okay? The last slide that I have is a little bit more of an explanation of the greenhouse effect. And I'll let you read this. You can pause this and just read and just ask yourself, does this make sense? Okay? Now, what I'd love for you to do is after you watch this and you've taken notes and you've looked at the handouts, I would like to know what questions do you have about this process? If I ask you, how is the atmosphere heated? what are you going to tell me? And I'm going to ask somebody about this on Thursday, so please think about that. Thank you.